violence and threats of violence against Trump supporters has been a problem since the early days of the president's campaign. One America's Neil McCabe is in Washington. He spoke to a young Trump supporter who could no longer attend her high school because of the harassment. Take a listen. Jane Zirkel is an outspoken supporter of President Donald Trump, and she told One America News that that support has made it untenable for her to continue to attend her exclusive public high school here in Washington. I go to school at Walls High School, and I'm being bullied for being a Trump supporter, and the bullying and harassment has gotten so bad. Zirkel said she and members of her family had a meeting with the top leadership of the District Columbia public school system. When we met with the superintendent, we showed him all the harassment that I received online. We filled him in on the history of harassment at the school, which it, most of it was reported, especially when teachers were, you know, lowering my grades because of my political beliefs. The high schooler, who also takes a class at George Washington University as part of her program, said the superintendent was not sympathetic. And he responded with, oh, well, this type of thing will blow over in a week or two. And he just wasn't very helpful because, I mean, obviously there was a very big safety threat, but he just tried to act like it would be fine. The meeting went from bad to worse when the very left-wing students harassing her started taking pictures of her and posting about the meeting with the public school leader, she said. And while I was in this meeting, actually, there were students who happened to be at the school who were literally taking my photo meeting with the principal and posting it on social media saying she's back in the school. Do we able to show the superintendent this uh, this sort of cyber harassment in real time? In real time, I because there's glass windows, I point it and say these children are taking my photo and like doxing me for being here. Circle said she presented the public school leaders with a 200 page packet of screenshots and printouts of online comments documenting the hostility towards her. As it stands now, Zirkel said the school system is allowing her to finish her senior year by taking her classes online. The school told us that some of the things that these kids were saying were arrestable but not actually suspendable. D.C. is very, very lenient on these types of things. It's almost impossible to suspend a student. One American News spoke to the top official at Zirkel's high school, and we were told that officials at the school are not authorized to speak to the media about her situation. Our inquiries were referred to Shane Wells, the spokesman for the D.C. public schools, and Wells has not responded to OAN before deadline. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.